streaming. It'll start streaming. And then it should be okay. And maybe my computer won't won't die. Ready. <laughs> Go team. Um shit. Home. Can I see my own YouTube? Can I link my own YouTube to something else? That would be cool. Am I am I in my own live right now? Hang on. It's working. It's working? Yeah. Okay, nice. 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 Okay. Um back to Dick Sword. And I'll say. You know what, Ian? I will get more boat girls. I know you can't hear this, but fuck <laughs> <look> yourself. <laughs> uh we're back. Splam. Okay. We're back. We have a monster to prom make with. <laughs> That's my... Okay, if I go to my... My creator studio, it should be... I don't... I need to be able to actually see what people are saying so I can reply back to them, you know, in theory. Um, yeah, I have... I have you open on my phone okay <laughs> sweet that works too okay uh so we've got top chat devin saying oh, shit, I never... wait what <laughs> this is like the weirdest thing i hear myself okay that's good because hearing you means that all the sound stuff is working um okay. sweet let's do a full game full games are fun <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Okay. Where's my full game? Bam. I'm I'm terrified, I'm terrified. right now. <laughs> I'm so worried. Yeah, you're doing good, bud. The, the computer's gonna this. just eat shit and die again. So who knows? It's just cod blocking you. Just, I'm my god. You it's cod blocking me. Oh, Nothing wants me to eat tasty fish tonight. Uh, <laughs> god. Um. Maybe, like, skip the intro, because we've already went through that. Yeah, I feel like we've done uh, four weeks of this intro. Uh, it was Spooky High School. If you've ever watched any of the Monster High movies on Netflix while drunk, you get the gist, except they're all 19+, plus and in Monster High School, so you can bang them. Uh, Monster Prom. It's not Monster High. Uh, skip. Alright, let's be... I'm gonna be Shadow Friend... His name's gonna be my name. I am him. He is me. We are one. I am great. Cool. Uh, so Tiffany, hi. Tiffany's playing with me. Uh, we used to work together, and now we just share memes amongst each other. <laughs> I send you. Sweet. I know. I send you Tumblr memes. You send me Tumblr memes, and I I scoff at them. <laughs> I pretend to not. Oh my god, maybe I'm Liam. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. I hate it already. Uh, okay, experience monster prom. It'll be fun. We have the Rus Russian fish. She's great and crazy. We have Anton LaVey. He's related to the man who invented Satan. He's also crazy. Uh, we've got Aaron from Game Grumps. He's a nice boy, and I want to pet his head. Uh, Liam looks like a douchebag and also kind of a little bit like my buddy Shane, but I don't mean that in a shade way. Uh, Polly is the ghost that everyone wants to bang the most. And Vera somehow is surprisingly sexy, and I didn't know it. Um, it's clear it had to be one of them, but who... Let's find out before my computer fucking catches on fire. Uh, three weeks to... Three weeks to not have my shit blow up. Loading! Teen... Oh, I just realized it's... The Teen Wolf is the name of the magazine. That's fun. Um, <laughs> Studio's pop quiz ever. Mine's a rotten, and we all know how this works. Stay. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> the points aren't real, and the game doesn't matter. Uh, coolest reality show be well clearly it's um oh god that uh, potato yeah. <laughs> uh, people in position of power face all sorts of questions while in the field uh, if they fail they lose their jobs and society wins Jesus um, oh my god 
Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the best at giving money to you. Twelve experts oh on the various God. arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge. Seducing a potato into marriage. <laughs> Somehow. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna go... I can't want... I can't want the evil of revolution. Dude, I know! Um, the coven! The coven makes me want to love them. Love and love them. Yeah, I'm gonna get people to give me money. There you go. <laughs> give me your money. Uh, if you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Did I ever turn you on to Little Big? I hope so. Um, uh, no. Okay, after this, you gotta watch Little Big. They're Russia's answer to the ant word. Um, oh, no. <laughs> make me fuck an animal. I fuck an animal already. Do the horse, do the dolphin. Uh, I'll drown during sex. I think I picked horse last time. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'll go with horse. Nice. We'll switch. Switch it up. Oh, Thanks for the vote of confidence, Pepper Logan. Logan Pepper, I appreciate it. You have yourself a good New York. I'm not jealous. I'm actually incredibly mm. jealous. Um. I just accidentally minimized my own screen. That's not cool. Uh, the world will end tomorrow. What will you do today? I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. 100 push-ups. No, 200 push-ups. They always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. It's okay. We invented the apocalypse. To take care of the overpopulation of commoners. And nobody ends the world but me. I'll end the world today. I always party if there were no tomorrow. So who cares? Let's fish it up. Um... Ew. I'm tempted to do the nobody ends the world but me. I, that oh actually is pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never right, seen. Fine, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying, you've got a bit of a scary rage face sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Uh, all right. Like usually, whenever I show up late. <laughs> Uh, cool. I'm, I guess I'm going first. Let's run through the stats, because that didn't fuck things up last time. What the hell? Where's my mouse? Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Okay, it works. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, I'm going to shit myself during this stream, and it's not going to be good. Uh, smarts, nine. Boldness, four. Creativity, three. Charm, five. Fun, seven. Money, five. Tiffany, stats. What are what are your stats? I, I can't... I can't scroll. That's okay. I've got it open for you. Alright, um... I have seven smarts, five boldness, five creativity, four charm, three fun, and nine money. That's a fuckload of money. Good thing you picked the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the library, because that's where you get money in the game. Uh, that day you spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice. Who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares, and you gain 2 money. You see Liam talking to Miranda. Miranda looks confused, and Liam looks frustrated. Uh-oh. Yuck! But I simply do not understand this art you're describing. You say this art piece is a bathroom? No, 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 no. For the hundredth time, the, heartbeat, the art piece is the experience of going into a bathroom thinking it's an art piece. The artistic... Oh God, the art, artist purposely gave the room number. The, he's gonna be James. The artist purposely gave the room number of the bathroom as the room number for the exhibit, even though there was a whole room full of his paintings somewhere in the building. It was a revolutionary. He certainly seems very complicated. Personally, I prefer exoplanet sculptures of the Atlantean Fifth Dynasty. You know, man in moon, face on Mars, all Pluto... Art on such grand scale. <laughs> bah! That's not art. That's populism at its worst. Well, I don't... <laughs> too many R's, sorry. <laughs> Can't hate Liam, too. Well, don't think that bathroom business sounds like art. 
But how are we supposed to discuss art if we can't even agree on what it is? Or if uh, only if someone only could so come along and provide satisfying <laughs> definition of art, I would be so pleased. So pleased. So oh. pleased. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was a burp. Oh, God, I'm sorry. You got this. No problem. It's so simple. Art is a method for making worthless things into very expensive things. Art isn't art unless it makes you feel bad feelings inside. Oh. Ooh. Oh, both of these speak to me. Uh, ah, yeah, my smartness worked. Oh, how true. Mars was just a bunch of sparsely populated red rock before Gibbet, Gib, Giblet Greenstone completed his masterpiece. After that, he was able to sell it to Arcturans for a trillion doubloons. The merchants, merchants oh weren't happy about it, but you know what they say. Sometimes we must suffer for other people's art. Oh my god. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> that last bit is the only part of what you're saying that I agree with. Yeah, I got the heart. So that's what happened to life on Mars. You gained some new knowledge about the solar system, and also two smarts and one charm. Let's go. Whew, voices are hard. Take it away, Tess. Let's go to the bathroom. Nice. Whoa, that's my reading. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I'm getting high. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, Electrifying. So that, that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom expect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skimming class and hanging out in the bathroom. No shits, but you gain two bullets. Nice. Later, you come across Damien and Vera in the hallway, nonchalantly holding a locker shut with all of their strength. The locker has a sign on it that says, nothing to see here, <laughs> and is screaming. Shut the hell up! You adorable, <laughs> fluffy, little fluffy. You see, we're spending quality time with our new pet. Isn't that right, Damien? <laughs> From somewhere within the locker, you hear, my parents will pay anything before Damien kicks the door. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Adorable, quiet, fluffy. He's going to stay quiet if he knows what's good for him. Oh, is it Scott? You know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't really have a great track record with pets. I had some mice for half a day, but my hair ate all of them. No! <laughs> I love her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would be a shame if our new pet died before we receive the true joy of being pet owner. <laughs> what? Cat word. Okay, the true joy of pet ownership. Yes, exactly. The sweet, <laughs> sweet bank account filling. Filthy rich making joy of pet ownership. You mean like making an Instagram and then personifying your dog? <laughs> making you don't hashtags. Do, that. do you? Is that a thing you do? A lot of people do that. Surely you have lots of knowledge about pet care. Why not share some? Okay, so you know what? Pets love hardcore death metal all the time to drown out their noises. No. I don't know. I mean, that seems, that seems pretty legit. <laughs> God. If you love something, set it free. Just implant a tracking device first. <laughs> Damn. Um, I feel like who is in the I locker? I don't know. But like, let's go for the dude, I guess. Even though hardcore death metal hurts my soul sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, or it makes it better. <laughs> I clicked it. It's not going. Oh. Uh oh, come on. Oh, I clicked it. Just let let it let let it click. Oh oh god. <laughs> oh no. Okay, where's my mouse? What uh is oh. oh shit. Oh, oh okay, we're yes! back. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, that was supposed to be fun. Oh shit. Oh, I lost so many points. Let's crank that shit. Damien pulls out his iBanshee and blasts his favorite 
sludge core anthem. Every swear word I know, explicit <laughs> version. It's not just a whole bunch of beeps and air horns. <laughs> oh, sl sludge is pretty <laughs> alright though. Perfect. This is precisely what we need in order to make sure we don't blow our cover. At the moment, Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, rushes down the hall towards the three of you, bellowing wildly and waving his paws. <laughs> relatable. Hashtag relatable on the tracking device. Yeah, you probably should maybe track your pets or something. <laughs> What's the blasting profanity filled music at last? The shrugging is at des decibels against the rules. The school, the school is so strict. Crazy Martin, did, the werebear janitor, hauls all of your asses into detention where the music, where there is no music to be heard. Okay, so kind of. You still, you still got a Liam point though, or not Liam, Damien. My bad. <laughs> oh my god, I have no fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh Side player, do you okay, want to do random? Are doing... Yeah, might as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm so afraid. Nice. Tiff, Please. you're up next. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh. We're gonna, we gonna have a have a sit with. Let's go. Hey, where's oh he's with the fluffy boy. Aww. Are you going for Miranda or the fluffy boy? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't oh, know. You're I just feel like going with the motion with the ocean, you know? Yeah, just like that that <laughs> song from high school. Bloodhound gang is <laughs> bloodhound gang. Okay. So you sit down to enjoy a nice normal meal at the spooky high cafeteria as usual. Paul, oh, JK, something fucked up is always <laughs> going on here. And today is no different. Oh, hello, Tiff. Did you want to come sit with us and our what, 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 imaginary friend? No one else is here. Their imaginary friend roars and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, Tiff, you have... Some smarts. You do. You're probably going to figure out this out pretty quickly. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. Ah, oh, he's so pure. <laughs> I kind of really like Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, no, we didn't. Shut up. We're going to teach it the piano or maybe the saxophone. I lost my notes. No worries. No notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. Oh, he's blushing. Damien's blushing. Wild beast should be... It should be the school of America. Oh, why is he blushing? Yeah, what is that? Oh, maybe he's got, maybe he's got the secret crushes. <sighs> okay, put him in a sports jersey. Let's rock the team. Obviously, you bought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion. Hmm. You can split the big Monster Chef catch. Okay. Um, this is obviously Scott. <laughs> I think Let's go. So. Nice. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for Heck Boy, is... but with an eye at the end? Yes, obviously. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which was obviously ours. You're right. That was our idea. Hooray, we're geniuses. And I have just what we need here: training montage music. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. my god! You start. <laughs> you suddenly start training montage in which three of you try to teach cooking to the wild beast. You suck at it since you're not big. Oh, you're not big chefs yourself, and also because it's a wild beast and it keeps devouring people and wrecking havoc. But it's quite an epic training montage. After all, you're all sitting excited in front of the portable TV. The Monster Chef show is about to start. You're holding cute, supportive signs, and you even got yourself a custom made t shirt of Aww. the Wild Beast. <laughs> Whoa, this is, this is the big A. Also, how is it that we trained the Wild Beast and it's now on the show? If it's still noon and the cafeteria time hasn't even ended. <gasps> <It's got laughs> works in mysterious ways when it comes to training montages. Okay, boys. Yeah, I'm a girl. <laughs> I only hope it isn't a souffle challenge. We know the wild beast isn't good at souffles. The wild beast isn't good at anything aside from devouring people and making them. <laughs> you quietly watch the show. The challenge is Beef Wellington. Fuck yeah, no souffle. 
Not surprisingly, once the challenge begins, the wild beast just starts to devour the other contestants and destroys the show set. You see the judges screaming, what the f- what the fuck let wild beast enter the competition? Oh, okay, this no. is so wordy. The wild beast is disqualified. Well, I guess that's it. We might as well have won the cash prize, but we won the most valuable prize. A laughing or laughing at our wild beast fucking up everything on the Master Chef set, which is a memory we will cherish forever. Nice. Oh, how nice. Oh. Cherish memories that include you? Well, we. <laughs> well, we. Right. All right. Oh my God. I can go for one of my two. One of my two girls. If I, you arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. Do you want to know what this one's for, Vera? No. I'll take that as yes. The rose-shaped napkin fold is for birthdays between age of 16 and 22. Miranda's Whoa. moving fast, or Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I've never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and the- <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. Vera now. <laughs> oh, and this black swan fo- folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular the black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. Ooh, okay, let's see. Who do I want to go for? Do I want to go for his poor Tina Belcher impression or Little Big? Ah, I gotta go for my girl. Sorry. Oh, that's adorable. Look at this folding everybody's napkins. It's like tiny adorable, sir. It looks like it's folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. I know, he's so efficient. Go, little napkin surf, be free! Aren't you worried this will turn into a self-replicating napkin scenario, progressing geometrically until the world is nothing but napkins? Why? Sounds lovely. God, you're impossible. You seem to have mispronounced impeccable. Whatever. I'm leaving before the napkin folk take over the world. Vera leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't hang out too long, though. You've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. Boom! Straight pegs. It's me! It's Tony! I get to say words now. I get to be more rushed. All right! Um, okay, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go... For charm. Uh, that did the epic double, double, double match. Uh, everything seems lost, but you seem to deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain two charm. You're minding your own business when Miranda comes rushing up to you, clearly distraught. Most terrible Most news, terrible. friend. I've just do- I've watched just documentary done. Game of Thrones, <laughs> and now I feel for my own royal family. Did not realize how susceptible we might be to random acts of treachery, or how often we romance our siblings. Huh. Oh, she said, oh. Oh. <laughs> huh. I don't want yeah, to be no shot in chest by crossbow while sitting on toilet. That does not sound proper at all. Please help me. <laughs> That's how we lost our czars. It's from Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. They still lost their czars that way. If czars were kings. Okay, have a good bad high five. That's, you just fucking head me. Um. I wanted a kiss. Oh, uh, no. no. <laughs> Love, you. Thank you. Love you. Please, help me put my poor mind at ease. How can I possibly identify potential traitors in my court? <laughs> uh, just keep oh an eye out God. for the classic signs. Shifty eyes, hooded black cloaks, ordering knives in bulk. Uh, pretty much everybody is a tradle. Just tradle? A tradle. Tradle? Tradle to- No, PewDiePie already yelled at them. Uh, pretty much everybody's a trader. Just spin a bottle and whoever points at, kill them. Um, I'm gonna go for... Okay, my stats are not the best. 
Um, so you're there? I don't, I don't know. Spin the bottle or look out for assassins. Spin the bottle? Bo yeah, okay, let's try that. Oh, oh boo fucking urns. Uh, excellent idea. I shall enact it. Oh, I even lost a Russian accent. Is the KGB. I should have gone with the other one. You try to tell her she should wait until she gets back to her castle, but she's already spun the bottle and it's pointing at me? I'm the traitor? Uh, oh, disgraceful. No. Alack, alas, I am my own worst enemy. How can I bring myself to betray me? Miranda immediately oh, no. arrests herself for suspicion of treason. And you for consorting with a traitor. Oh, god damn. That's, this is harsh. Holy shit. She's acquitted because she's literally a princess. But you don't have that luxury. You're sentenced to be publicly pelted with sea cucumbers. So lose, lose two charm and lose one fun. Mm. Yep. That's okay. It's all right. It's okay and all right. <laughs> Equal parts. Um, let's uh try to solve some sort of fun. Get some, get some fun on. <laughs> the day during recess, sorry, half half hour read that goes fully crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point I there are like people. <laughs> coming if someone the... summons demons from the nightmare dimensions the consequence might distort the fabric of reality oh, but who cares it's a rad party he gained too fun nice nice you're chilling out not murdering anybody <laughs> and slinks up to you he's hauling a large sack with words definitely not a corpse noob <laughs> He's blushing! Oh my god, he's so What is he doing? He's so okay. Hey, um, you're not gonna believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. <gasps> no shit! Oh my god. Deception. <laughs> but yes. Now here's the thing, I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making a corpse, at least not without my lawyer present. <laughs> <laughs> But let's just say he and I apparently had very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. God damn it, Damien. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It'd be an extremely attractive thing Ooh. to do. Um, luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. <laughs> Disguise him as a drinking fountain? No one will know the difference. God damn. Okay, I'm not like very smart or anything to me. <laughs> I just have money for some reason. That's um... <laughs> just pack him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly with my collection of vintage dead bodies. That might that might be a good one. I feel like I'm bold enough for that. Bold enough for the, the drinking have fountain to... or the the vintage one makes me the... think it might be money, but I don't know for sure. Because like, if I'd have to disguise him, it would be like. Charm. Yo, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, true. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Sweet. That you was... throw the... In the back of Damien's dredge, dredge chariot? What? What is that? Oh, uh, it's a chariot that fills of... people with dread, I assume. Holy hell, are these all yours? Some, some of these are total classics. <laughs> oh, this person? <laughs> really? Okay, for some reason, I just like, like a server dude now. Fuck, you got like three pups here, dude? Dude, bro. <laughs> I spent all this time trying to be a great Fucking murderer. Fucking metal! <laughs> well, the greatest murderer of all time. <laughs> murderer of all time, right next to me the entire time. Damien lovingly lays his mangled corpse next to yours. Collector's item. A look of awe on his face. Joke's on him, you're actually a accomplished grave robber. He gained two smarts, one charm. Nice. Oh shit. Oh. Something happened to you. What am I gonna do on this weekend? What did you do? What's happening this weekend? What's going um, on? There you go. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Are you I gonna, weekend. You gonna fuck me over? <laughs> <laughs> I received summons from Maria. You want to do her voice? <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'm just, I'm just looking at her like, 
your cute mom shorts and her Colonel Sanders top. Aw. Okay, uh... Oh, no! It's different <laughs> on my screen. Is it? Yeah, like, on the YouTube, it's the, the shirt and the shorts, but on my screen, it's her in a, a blue dress. Whoa, weird. Cool, but weird, but cool. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do her. I'll do her. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you could come. Technically, Miranda's guard forced you to meet with her, but you'd rather not split hairs. I am, I am contemplating a decision of extreme gravity to date Tony or not to date. Um, <clears throat> as you are famed throughout the school as Wanton Lothario, I thought I had best what? ask your I have no idea what that fucking word means. Um, I thought I had best ask your advice. But please, be sure to frame it in terms that I will understand. Something simple and straightforward. In short, I need you to tell me which item of silverware Tony is most close to. Man, if that little bit of me came through. Um, silverware Tony is most closely resembles. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gilded shrimp tongs, delicate inlaid with diamonds oh and baby teeth. Oh does this affect? Oh, which one? Bread. Uh, well, she said uh, simple, bread right? Won't... And oh, like God. straightforward. I don't know. She said simple and straightforward. I'm like tempted to just say bread. She's tempted to fuck me over with bread. You know they wait in long like... lines for that in Russia. <laughs> okay, um, it's it's up to you. It's up to you. But I I personally think the good one is the the shrimp tongs. I think the bread's gonna fuck me over. But it it is up to you. It is a competitive dating sim. You do you do you. I'm just go oh, hey! yeah. Thank you. Well, gilded oh gilded shrimp tongs. It's the most elegant of silvered wares. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh. I wasn't free swinging from a bottle. Um, it's gilded. It's good. Of course, diamonds must represent his strength and endurance. While the baby teeth represent his inner tenderness and willingness to steal teeth from babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, new Sam? How's it going, man? I could not imagine more appropriate piece of silverware to be my date. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm told I'm not allowed to take actual silverware to promise my date, so your friend will have to suffice. Uh... Thank you ever so much. Ever so much. <laughs> Just turns full, full boy. Oh, shit. Dude. I got so much money. Oh, nice. Yeah. Get that cash. Yeah. Whew. Uh, it's gonna get pretty half in the bag at, at any point now. All right, dice cast. It's me. Um, what are we doing in the morning? Okay, I need to work on. I think my charm. So I'm gonna go to the gym again. Uh, that day, an epic, epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you. With a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives, the, players, <laughs> the player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. Oh, you stone cold. five mercy. <laughs> yes, cold as ice. Uh, a set that might be useful in Monster Prom sequel, but that isn't now. And you gain two charm. You see Miranda in her gym outfit in the far end of the gym swimming pool. Oh my god! That's mm, acting up. This is a new ending. I don't know. Maybe. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, I think this might be something cool. Uh, wait. The gym has a swimming pool. Why aren't you using it? Why are you always playing dodgeball? Why don't you get to see your classmates yeah, in swimsuits? Anyway, as you approach Miranda, <laughs> she shrieks, and her merman bodyguards tackle you to the floor. <laughs> Who are you? 
Are you here to kill me? I'm just a better swimmer. There's no basis for assassination. Wait. You don't swim? You have no fins without gills, you just choke right away. Could you help me with this situation? I'm the best swimmer in school, but my parents say that it's just how it's supposed to be, but people sometimes get too jealous. Um, <clears throat> my dad used to send such hoodlums to, to gulag, gulag, to farm. <laughs> but now he says I'm not a living anymore, so I have to learn to deal with people, deal with myself with the people who fought. Oh my god. Woo. Um So I have to learn to deal my to deal myself with the people who might plot my assassination. I have no idea who's even behind this. Can you help me catch those jealous people? Uh how about a charity swim? You won't participate in whoever comes first and gets a ticket to the farm. Quantity over quality, mines, load of mines, uh one's a beeping, chain spikes, might catch something. A smee <laughs> the message across the smee the the smealing. Um I'm gonna I think go you're smart enough for the first one, but I don't know about this. I kinda I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm not feeling confident, but I do like mines. And the water mines are the cool ball ones, so I'm gonna go with that. Fuck my butt and call me. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. No. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, I like I like mines and very dangerous explosives in general. As much as the next sweet genocidal princess. But I'm swimming in there too. I'm swimming in there too. Oh no. <laughs> they say he can wash away blood with club soda. But that's just lies. Believe me. I know. And you know that feeling when you touch seaweed with your foot? Ugh. I never thought I'd say this, but you make using mine sound like a bad option. Oh no! <laughs> oh, indeed, you lose two smarts and one charm. Ah, oh, Jesus. God, our stats are taking a hit. I, oh my, this is, Let's go! This is, mm, mm, I was doing better last week. Always go for mass <laughs> murder. That's true, I was going for mass murder, new Sam. Um, mm. And he was going to. Yeah, we. Fuck. What's going on? I thought murder was the I thought murder was the right option. Um, I guess let's let's get some fun. Be fun. At the during recess, you start half an hour rave, fully crazy. At one point, Juan, the small magic flick, you know that slips on a banana peel, and you start laughing at him. Oh. <laughs> he asks you to stop. You don't. You laugh so hard at him, you somehow steal two fun from him. Hooray! That's how fun works. <laughs> okay, oh. so you and Damien and Miranda squatting on the grass, poking something with a stick. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> you rush over, hoping for a dead possum, but instead, you find them gathered around an entire oh. tiny metropolis. Fucking metal! <laughs> <laughs> it's our kingdom. I call it Smalltopia. A tiny voice from the city shouts up. At you, it's called West Pemberley, and we're not a monarchy. I was gonna just burn it all with a magnifying glass, but like, I'm happy Miranda stopped me. It's good to be king. <laughs> the tiny voice from the city says, We vote for our leaders, my annual election. <laughs> but we are facing a quandary how to boost our kingdom's <laughs> struggling economy. Yeah. The whole place has been you know, economic recession and everything. Install the hospital to build them. <laughs> oh, the tiny voice says, The red guy stole the hospital and lied about it. <laughs> I'm used to managing kingdoms that are significantly larger in much more underwater. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how about being our royal advisor? Pays the pay ship. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> hey, says the tiny boy. Okay, so build up a new hospital out of popsicle sticks and glue, or you know what? Boost an economy. War. <laughs> I think I saw an ant hill by the water. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, okay. That sounds uh, amazing. Uh, let's see uh, what let's the see. let's see what the chat says. Is, is hot glue always the answer, boys? Ew. Oh, oh. 
It says Ant Hill. Ant Hill? Yeah, we got we got Ant Hill. Okay, one let's vote go. For Ant Hill. Oh nice. Hey. Nice. Good job. So Good job, Sam's Sam. guesses are definitely on your side today. <laughs> Okay, so see Miranda, this is exactly what I <laughs> violence related. <laughs> you are you're truly wise, Damien. Very well to war. Oh my god. For mother. The three of you escape war <laughs> ants by leaving a trail of syrup between Smalltopia and Hill. The tiny city is soon devoting higher infrastructure combating the formic menace. They build barracks, train troops, and construct missile silos. <laughs> By the end of the period, they've bombed the ants back to the Stone Age with tiny, adorable Aww. nuclear weapons. You fuck those ants. <laughs> the drinking fountain will be radioactive forever, but Smalltopia's new military indus industrial complex really has revitalized its economy. <laughs> economy. Nice. I gave one oh, of money oh, for the... A new permanent position of <laughs> defense council. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. Kicking, kicking butt right now. I messed up points. Yeah, but at the same time, they kind of sneak into your house go. every summer, and I'd, I'd nuke them too. Just, just saying. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Oh, Tiger Man! Tiger okay. Man! We'll, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with, wait, do I want to buy something? Do you want to buy something? Tempted. Do you want to buy Tiger Man? I don't think you can no. fuck, a, fuck Tiger Man because he's a teacher and that's frowned upon unless you're in college. Mm, but they're all, like, college age. No, then fuck Tiger Man. <laughs> I, think he just, I think he just gives you, like, a major <laughs> stat boost, but, like. Yeah. Okay, uh, but I kind of want to, like. Something. Buy something. You do have a shitload of money. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> if you started okay. off with like, <laughs> Yeah, you also did, did a bit Let's of good stuff. Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing your money in a stupid way anyways. Why not spend it here first? It's called just being smart. Oh, okay. you totally have a different dialogue option, too. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to run a about dragons. <laughs> Oh my god. If I keep fucking up with the Miranda, I'm gonna I'm just getting that too. I'm just I'm just gonna go okay, for that the power Totem of Zgord. Ooh. Ruler of Elves. I'm not quite sure if it's safe for the school and the entire fabric of reality to sell this to high schoolers, but a girl needs a new pair of badass boots. So <laughs> fox safety. It's an event. Yeah, it's she's crazy. the... Mine is... I have enough money for it too. I, I've actually unlocked that one, and it's, it's pretty Catch you cool. later. Okay. Nice. Oh, uh, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, they're... All right. All right. Uh, it's Mess of Poor Ants, and I got you. Tiger Man's probably only into something weird like centaurs. Oh, yeah. He probably <laughs> is. Look at that Tony the Tiger-esque face. I, I, gotta, I gotta try to fix what I've done wrong. Uh, you also heard Miranda and Scott's table will find them peering suspiciously in the burger. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. What dread mysteries do you conceal? Whoa, do you think the secret sauce can talk? Cool. Hey, secret sauce, what are you made out of? No, Scott, my question was rhetorical. Awesome, mine was loud. Ugh, it's no use. We will never discern the active ingredients of this delicious secret sauce. Unless you have idea, comrade Tony. Coach is great. Uh, blood of your father's enemies, Miranda. That's why it's so delicious. You ever think of this guy? It's, it's more, I gotta go for Miranda. So I, I gotta fix this. Blood of, blood of air people? I did not know high school cafeteria cared about my family's angel rivalry. And everyone knows the air people bleed candy syrup and barbecue sauce. I should have known. I feel like I said this last week. You know, I don't normally eat food myself. I have serves for that. But I may have to make an exception. Aw, more blood? But I eat blood all the time. Like pretty much every full moon. Scott's a little disappointed. But you don't care. You're busy sharing a saucy burger with Miranda. Hey, hey girl.
Let me get that south. Did you say air people? Air people? I think we're technically air people. Or just like legit bird people. <laughs> so just oh, like a bird person. Do you think they're trying to fuck a bird person? Let's go. I don't know. No, no, but it's like you. She like hates bird people or like actual just like you regular. I don't know. Humans. Maybe maybe. Also, that's that would be like straight up racism in this game. Because I'm sure there's a group of half avian bird people that exist in this monster. Oh my she's so cute as a knight. The day while rehearsing for the class play, as the you are a bird person, intended to give you figurative oral sex. <laughs> Your performance is, is intense and inspiring. Sorry. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Gain to creativity. Tight. <laughs> Later, you're shredding your stuff with your new tone when it tracks some enough <laughs> attention. Ah, oh, it's Polly! Polly! Uh, I love her dude. cute with dark deity tone, you're wacky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's so tiny and sweet compared to the dark gods of the ocean. Poor helpless little totem. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Blood gushes forth from the totem's eyes, streaking its face with a texture red. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's hungry, poor little guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cutie patootie? Are you hungry, wangy? <laughs> oh, I kind of hate that. <laughs> Is you hungry, wangy? You want to eat potato? Further than it physically should be able to, in a swarm of locusts, first. <coughs> <laughs> we need to find the yummy for his tummy sacrifice. No princesses, though. I'm sure that's not what he wants anyway. The totem burns fiery hot and icy cold at the same time. Cool. Am I still holding it? I hope so. Aw, uh, you better find a great sacrifice for the, for the widow that and it, and it'll make the gals so happy too. Oh shit, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, hang okay. on. Because I've, I've done this before and I'm trying to remember what the stats are. I think... I think boldness is self-sacrificing yourself. I think I think that's the one. That's the one? I think so. If not, then I will... Fuck! Fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Mm. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not charming enough, oh my gosh. Oh, shit. My hero. It's gonna, yeah, it's not gonna hot. lie. I'm kind of high. Oh, fuck. Tell him goes fiery red. Patient of your blood. Am I gonna die? Uh, Actually, gonna die. Oh, there you go. You casually chomp off. Heck yeah, hardcore. Hold him stares at your limbs, unmoving. Your weak little limbs do nothing for the power of the dark. If the totem had a nose, it'd be turning it up at you, metaphorically speaking. Uh... Oh, I fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was boldness. No, I, oh, I'm not dead. Deeply ashamed. You have the girls help <laughs> help your separate live, carry them, nurse to cover. He manages to put you back together pretty easily, but dark age. It's an icy pissed. hot sleeve in totem form. <laughs> oh no! What is an icy hot All sleeve? Right. That, oh, no. that sounds like something I don't even want to know about. I mean, I'm already Park Frankenstein. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They could just pop new ones on. Should be fine. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> um, I need to make sure I'm taking care of the bed. Uh, a day in Epic Dodgeball match takes place. The match is as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the th overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mem mem mesmerized. Uh, it's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain two charm. Uh, you notice Polly bent over her phone while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. 
something really interesting must be going on in Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, you see that Polly's just on Tinder again, swiping right on everybody. Miranda seems entranced, though. A little worried. What, what did you say this was called again? Tinder? <laughs> and this app for finding true love? Um... <laughs> Sure. Oh, how majestic! <laughs> She's so precious, my <coughs> Uh, but I, n I never knew. I've spent countless hours going to real balls and kissing frogs, and pretending to be in a magical slumber. Oh, could have simply been using this app. <laughs> I mostly just use it for collecting deck packs. <laughs> what are these? What are these? Dick pics. Tokens of affection. Oh, alas, to be so far behind in my quest for love. Well, he's bent over. I'm going in. <laughs> oh I'm 19 God. years old, practically old maid in Russia, and now only learning of this. Oh, how will I ever make up for lost time? Uh, don't worry, I'll coach you in the mysterious ways of Tinder. You'll have a whole harem in no time. You still don't have Twitter. Uh, Tinder, why should you worry having Tinder when you can actually own Tinder? Why don't you just buy the entire company? My money... Stats. Oh, my stats. Um, mm, that could be charm. I know that's money. My money's not super high, though. Oh, dude, fuck. Uh, uh, yes! Oh, yes! oh my god. Oh, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I will simply purchase app and require all of his most attractive and heroic users to tape me. It is exactly how my father met my mother, except with the Indian Ocean instead of Tinder. Oh, wow. Polly, I will give you $230 million for Tinder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, but, like, I don't actually own the company. What do you mean? I thought you said you hide Tinder. Yeah, like on my phone. I have a copy of the app. I don't own any successful internet startups. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten you were poor. So sorry. It's cool. I must depart. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> don't worry about it, bro. Well, anyway, I'm off to buy Tinder now. Goodbye. Have fun. <laughs> now might be a good time to uninstall Tinder from your phone. Meanwhile, you gain two creativity and one smarts. I think I'm. It's me again. Also, I really hope I didn't fuck up the secret route for you. Oh, it's okay. I always try again. Shit! No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you, Damien. I'm gonna get you a hack again. I'm gonna get you a burning sensation, my dude. I fucking hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Oh, it's just Polly, isn't it? Shit. <clears throat> Don't like. Don't be more chill. Like, be more no. chill. Be more, be more Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Don't let it get into your head, or I'll stab you. <laughs> so I don't owe you anything. Don't have to owe you anything. Enough threats. Here's the deal, fuckhead. I might or might not feel attracted to your buddy Tiff. Oh, he's one, he wants, he wants to touch your butt. Uh, <coughs> you know the one who's making absurd choices, being equal parts stupidly sexy and sexily stupid, and with a nice booty. <laughs> but I don't want to get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. My dads always say, if you love someone, like, shoot them and see what happens. Oh shit, don't no, tell oh my god. Hmm, shooting, you say. Great fucking advice, right? You gonna fucking shoot me? I don't know, we'll see if it's a good answer or not. Thing is, Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. They've strongly recommended I do that on what they call a theoretical level. Like, imagining the whole thing. But imagining is for losers, and if you think, I, since you both know Tiff, and since you both know Tiff, oh, Tiff, <laughs> or lose yourself, I thought you could tell me, what would Tiff do if I were to shoot her? Oh, fuck. 
Oh, God. Uh, Tiff is all about getting shot. She goes to the doctor every day just to get a shot. And shot's the only thing she does when she's partying. It's partying. So I think he can get her. I think he can give her a shot. Pff, believe it or not, you'd if you were to shoot Tiff, she would not be into it. True story. Mm. You know what? The so I think you can give her a shot. I think I think that's a good one. What do you What are you thinking? What are you thinking, viewers at home? Oh my God. I think because he he's he's kind of evil, but in a cute and charming way. I think it's a good thing. I think you have to get shot by Damien. Yes, fucking welcome. I ruined your life, but I just made it better. Oh, that's convenient. I'm t I'm Polly now. I have the feeling dating me would increase someone's chances of getting shot or stabbed. You don't have to be as big an asshole as me without getting some enemies along the way. Shot, 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 shot. Shots from the from the. No, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a shot right now. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. It worked. Um. Whew. I would feel bad if my loved one was to get shot because of me. But knowing Tiff isn't into getting shot is a relief. I fucking hate guilt. Okay. Seems like my heart is getting. Is being a drunk idiot this time. Might get into something. Or I might be onto something. Nice. Who knows? Jesus Christ, he talks a lot. Oh my god. Gee, oh my god. Oh no. I'm squishy human. This is so squish. So much squish. <laughs> if she's so into getting shot, I might add, might add some spice into my foreplay, if you know what I mean. <laughs> squishy human. Squishy human being. Whoa, oh my god, I didn't feel- Oh, should I even be reading this? I mean, shooting Tiff before having sex with her, just to be clear. Wowie! Well, You're welcome, well, Tiff. We Hope we're getting you some demon dick and for the blood loss you're about to experience. You had too much blood anyway. <laughs> Casual gunplay in the bedroom. Uh, oh I get god. three charm for being such a- well, for being a friend. <laughs> bang, bang. Bearded unicorn. Um, random. Hey, it's me again. Better not fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck this up. You got this, bro. All right. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um... I like that. Um, many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiating for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist! You gain righteousness, but at the same time, but this game is so wrong in so many ways. You'd be lucky if you could do anything with that, and plus two charm. You notice Liam and Miranda talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Something must be terribly oh, gosh, wrong. Terrible. You go over to see what it is. Youth is a gift! <laughs> oh, Tiger Man! Um, <laughs> I'll try to do a Tony the Tiger for him. <laughs> well now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Eat this fucking cereal instead. Oh, but, the, but ordinary sports are ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we could do much better. I've already got an idea, actually. I've had an idea for a sport since there were even since before there were even sports. I call it art. No teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. Mm. <laughs> Art! Brilliant! We will play it with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a sports bar and a goalie laureate and... <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's so good, it's great! <laughs> oh, shit, that was a merger of two. Um, Dude, nice, what, what kits are you building? What, what Gundam are you building? Oh, I'm getting distracted, sorry. It's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art 
doesn't really sound like a sport. Why it doesn't have the word ball anywhere in it. This easily solved. We call it art ball. Ooh. That's great. Well, yes, obviously that's much better. But let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other, totally stumped. Their dream hangs in the balance. Time to step in. Time to... Time to step in. <laughs> oh boy. Obviously the sports bar assigns inspiration. Obviously the sports bar assigns inspiration. Kicks to the metaphysical linebacker who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? <laughs> Don't you see? The points were inside of us all along. Atlanta. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just fuck you. Just fuck your shit. <laughs> oh, there's a rule book. Well, that changes everything. Can I see it? You didn't plan for this. You panic and hit coach in the face with a tennis racket. <laughs> hey, that didn't feel great. Look at his face. Fucked up so fast. <laughs> He spotted the ruse. Retreat! Retreat! Lee and Miranda free, leaving you... Uh, Liam and Miranda flee, leaving you to face Coach. Coach isn't mad. He's just disappointed that your tennis swing is so weak. To help you out, he assigns you 200 push-ups and 100 deep bicep curls. I lose two fun and one bird. Let's go! I don't even get a Miranda point. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god. Yeah. Look at all of this bad stuff. Oh god, we're okay. just... Oh. Fucking eating ass and not in the fun way. Oh shit. I guess it's kind of fun again. I gotta. I, why is the drinking not helping oh. this week? Yeah. Okay, that day during recess, you start having crazy spot. One, the magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried. He's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, 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 the small magical Latino cat. And now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there's around 23 other different Juans in the schools. So adding all of that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Pond. Cool. Monster Middle School! If remembering those crazy stories, you gain too fun. Nice. Nice. Later, you, Polly, and Miranda are watching your adorable little dark deity totem melt the faces off with passerbyers when... We're here, here to save, save the, the day! day. Look over here. <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> you found the totem, headed over quickly. Whoa, dude. Chill out for a second. What, what, what are we talking about? <laughs> Miranda drops her bottle of vodka. <laughs> Whatever seems to be the matter, we're off to have a lovely picnic where their dearest totem friend, little buddy. Your totem is Zgord, ruler of the Dark Realm, an agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Before some of the <laughs> uh, Truly, though, what have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been there for us whenever we needed it. Yeah, when I ran out of coke, little buddy made sure... A dealer dropped dead in the club with pockets so I could have as much as I wanted. <laughs> when the suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt out of his face. <laughs> <laughs> the totem purse happily, which sounds like the shriek of a thousand cows oh, dying of famine. Literally every time I think you guys can make worse choices, you somehow... Make horse choices. The coven prepares to attack. Their sights set on your precious totem. You better think fast. 
<clears throat> oh my god. Swallow, Swallow the totem. The... Keep it safe in your belly. Use sleight of hand to make the totem disappear. Ugh, I don't have any charm for that. But it, it's your boldness. You have to swallow the totem. Oh Trust me God. this time. Yes. Thinking quickly, you all but uninjured job. So you can get the right answers now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, also, I think I saw Jake the Snake was on here. Jake the Snake came by? Yeah. What's up, Jake the Snake? How's it going? He's a good boy. You like him. Oh, shit, I just dropped... <laughs> Just drop my cork. Damn, and I thought I could swallow. Come <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Ration confused noises. <laughs> Nani the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about it, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Man. Oh, How? No. Why? Why do you do this? You just swallowed the dark deity. How do you not understand the repercussions? Oh my god, the chat's going a little bit nuts about the swallow oh joke. <laughs> um, you just yeah, got Dan Aykroyded. <laughs> the part where the totem makes lots of cool shit happen for us. Why would we give that up? For the fate of the world! <laughs> Three of you exchange glasses. Nah. Doesn't sound like a good reason. No, I truly. Oh, shoot. That's the coven signal. <laughs> We're needed elsewhere. It's like a broom. It's like just like somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Dilly, li, li, li. Here. Aw, little buddy. You're, so You're a safe, little You're buddy. So it's okay to come out now. Oh, it has to come out of me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yay. That's not too graphic or violent. <laughs> I was just going to burst out of my stomach. The dark deity totem floats up your throat and out of your mouth. It hovers in the air for a moment, glowing sinistry, before falling back into your head. How is it so cute? <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't my best. The totem looks another day. Possibly to destroy the world. Yay, you gain two creativity and one boldness. Yay! Change places. Ah, uh, you go first because you're kicking dicks in at this game. Little comrade. Oh, oh fuck, you're right. Wasted opportunity. I should have said little comrade. Shit. <laughs> shitting fuck. Yeah. Watch time. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Oh, with Tiger Man. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> you find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers. Always oh, nice believe in yourself. <laughs> God. Go, boys, go. Munch your way to victory. Ah, there's no truer sport than an eating contest. Tenth. <laughs> Wait, tenth. Oh, shit. <laughs> It looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Oh, sorry. It's Jack Scott with a surprise fireworks. Slathered Damien's hot dogs with holy ketchup. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, obviously. Thank you. What the hell? You were planning on setting off these fireworks in here anyways. Let him. <laughs> what? What? Hey, stop that! Who did that? Who's making that noise? I'm yelling because I'm scared! <laughs> they found us, Scott! The Viet Cong! Oh lordy, it's Nam all over again! <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so great! <laughs> Scott I need to stop doing that joke. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Davey lets out. A sigh full of equal parts relief and mashed potatoes. Ew. Ooh. Uh, eggs, brah. I was just eating like I normally do. When those two idiots came over and like turned into a sport. Ah! It's not my fault. <laughs> I eat so fast. I've got a little furnace in my oh, I want his metabolism. Even with some of his half chewed hot dogs. Nice. 
some would say that's almost like making out with her. Uh. All right. Mm. Uh, hot and gross. Ooh. I quit five. Four. Sorry. Face Twitch up quick. Us. Welcome to the stream. We're stramming. Uh, Vera's about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever at this school, apparently. When Miranda screams, Stop! Don't drink that! Why? Wait, what was my, what was my Vera again? Okay. Hmm. Uh, it was like a, a Tina. <laughs> Why not? The scotch costs more scotch. than most cars. Has your taster tried it yet? What taster? What taster? It's almost kind of like a critical. Like <laughs> you don't have taster? What if your drink is poisoned by someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Mary, I only drink four things. Scotch, titty milk, red wine, tears my enemies, and straight up poison. <laughs> I kind of love critical. <laughs> you drink poison on purpose? Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? Well, well, you should have still have a taster. What if someone puts uh, a really spicy hot sauce in your drink, or uh, or poison? Uh, what do I have to do to get you to drop this? Simple, hire a taster. Fine, let's do this shit. This might be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand, and when Vera picks you, you this is the greatest scotch tasting of all time. <laughs> <laughs> drink all our scotch, enraging Vera and delighting Miranda, pretending to be poison, terrifying Miranda, and amusing Vera. Gotta win all my points back. <laughs> what are you doing? That ball costs as much as the first Apollo mission. Oh my god. How do you feel, real tester? Are you poisoned? Well, you're not poison. You poison. But you're pretty fucking wasted. You give all the Mirandas you can to, all the Mirandas you can see, two big thumbs up. Job well done. No Vitter is sure not to be poisoned. Well, yeah, because there's no scotch left to be poisoned by. Don't listen to her. You did well. Come with me. I have some other beverages. You simply must verify for safety. <laughs> you spend most of everything seems like a euphemism. You spend the rest of the night getting wasted on expensive liquors at Miranda's place. Courtship never tasted so good. Woo! Yay! Let's do the thing. Yeah. So I can go first. Bam, 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 bam. Oh shit. Coming up to the oh, end. Oh, Let's see oh. how badly I. Alright! Dodgeball has always killed me. That day an epic dodgeball match takes dodgeball bats. I'd missed the Jesus Christ, Apple Ball Legend was a bad idea. I'd missed the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at the dodgeball. At the dodgeball, I said with the the added. And she attempts to throw the ball at herself. You explain to her the many ways that you think she is unique and wonderful while defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she is capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a self sense of self-worth. You gain one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off-screen. And two charm. Afterwards, a row possession 500 members strong informs you that Miranda has requested your presence at dinner tonight. <gasps> the restaurant she's chosen is fancy. Its name is unpronounceable by anyone making less than six figures. But with all these heavily armed guards around, you think it unwise to refuse. And so later that night... This restaurant is remarkably charming for a low-born establishment. Granted, the flatware is only platinum, not diamond. And this wine seems to be significantly less than a thousand years old. But at least our table is held up by three weeping serfs, as it always on to be. <laughs> Garçon, one bowl of rubies and a bottle of actual gold, if you'd be so kind. My suitor will have... Quicks. Pick something, but... Quick! Quickly pick! Uh, quick, pick something before she realizes that you've never been anywhere fancier than Wilmer's Chicken Hut. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's, that's cute, and I really hope it works. Yes! Oh, my God. Well, this is the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. 
most people in my family simply order the most expensive thing on the menu. It doesn't even have to be edible. In fact, it usually isn't. But you really get to actually eat food in front of me? I'm charmed. I'm so charmed. <laughs> she's so charmed. She's so charmed. In fact, that she doesn't notice that you never actually ordered anything. Score. You gain two smarts and one fun. Let's go. Yeah. Let's All right. Let's uh, get you a totem bang. <laughs> Maybe you do wait, win wait. too. I don't know. That dude the reasons we started off. I casually chatting with Juan, the small magical <laughs> Tino cat. You start telling him the hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one? The one involving the beehive, the bulb doll, of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining in. Joining you to hear the story by the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it to plus five. Nice. For a long moment, you, Polly, and Miranda can do nothing but stare at the new. Awesome, boo! Nice. Dude, this is. Awesome. I can't believe our sweet little kawaii deity is finally out there in the universe with us. Me either. So like, now what? Yeah, I guess little body isn't so little anymore. <laughs> the dark deity smiles. Grin of the eternally damned. <laughs> the pink begins to melt off. Windows shatters. Sending shards of glass flying dangerously through the air. The ground rumbles and shakes with the force of a magnitude 12 earthquake, which is actually farther than the, the right. Richter? That word scale goes. <laughs> the Richter scale. I... <laughs> Sorry. Yikes. Who <clears throat> knew unleashing, unleashing a dark day from a totem would have consequences? This could definitely spiral out of control. Better do something fast. Fight the dark deity. Ask the dark deity to monster prom? Wait! That I don't go with Damien? Uh, yeah, okay. If your charm is high enough that, and you ask the deity, it will go with you. Oh, I have um, nothing. But your charm is a little bit on the low So I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. I feel like we could have cooked these books a little bit longer, but who do you, who do you who do you feel in your brain heart more? Let's let's fight. Let's yeah, fight punch, it. punch it. Whoa, that's bold. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. After all I've done for you, it growls a voice in your head. I mean, this is kind of a trail on your part, but whatever. Dark dangerous gotta shut that shit down while you can oh this, shit uh, speak it it's an epic battle that rages for several hours the dark deity is ancient being with years of mouth well, <laughs> to to i don't know if it would have worked this time your charm has to uh, it's okay don't worry why i'll just try it again on a different day it is powerful and storied history while you're simply a high schooler Somehow gives you the upper hand since high schoolers seem to always defeat the force of evil. Oh, Before too long, wrestle the dark deity back into the totem containing it. <laughs> well, it was fun while it lasted, but I guess it's nice to have a little body be little again. It sure is. You totem back, and you also get two smarts of this. Nice. <gasps> awesome. I'm coming. Fuck, I don't know if she'll say yes, but I have to ask Liam for the prom. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the song. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Good luck. All right. Oh. Ah, Damn it. 
son of a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I think of you as brother. Uh, actually, we royalty are very into incest. So let me correct oh my that. God. I think of you as uh, highly unattractive. I must oh. decline. Ah, disgusting! Oh <laughs> <laughs> you are so ashamed by your failure that after prom, you photoshop Garfield into all your prom pics. As <laughs> all the Russians are speaking now. Um, Garfield into prom pics as if he was your prom date. Yeah, Garfield, the orange cartoon cat. Not your brightest idea. Anyway, even with your Photoshop skills, you couldn't Photoshop the sadness out of your face away. Sad. Let's go. Yeah, I hope you get this, because goddamn. You finally pluck up your courage and ask you. Must have found it. Is it gonna. Is it gonna... Burn himself and committing murder? Fucking yeah. metal! Yeah! Oh my god. Nice. As following your heart and unapologetically in love. Let's do this. Let's live our lives with zero regrets. Prom, here we go. Let's Hi. set the world on fire, baby. Right, oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, Prom was awesome. Got little, little flowers on her and corsages, and he's he's tanked. It's a this is a good prom. Definitely your worst self. After some good laughs, you can conclude, well, I'm definitely going to have state style. <laughs> but after that, he added, you know what? I see no problem with that. Aww. Oh, my God. See, God like, Damian. if my problem was, like, a fraction of, like, how sweet this was, I might have not wanted to sock my prom date. <laughs> yeah, you, okay. So, you told this a told little this bit last little time. Bit last you actually pushed oh your prom date out? Well, no, I, like, really wanted to, okay. and it would have... And it would have made total sense. <laughs> That's kind and of amazing, though. I've never had or seen anyone get to the point of actually wanting to, like, beat the shit out of their prom date. I mean, like, do you want to know the story? Because, like, do you legit, want all of my friends... Or... <laughs> like, no, like, my, all of my friends were so... But I fuck shit up with him. <laughs> okay, okay, so, like, pretty much... Um, like prom, obviously, you know mm -hmm. what you do. You get drunk. Yep. And then you go to after prom. Mm -hmm. and you fuck more shit up. Yep. Like so, Damien. like what our original plan was was like, uh, they they rented out a hotel room mm -hmm. or they booked a hotel room, and I was supposed to go with him. Yeah. And then like, hang out with him my prom date. Okay. And like the thing is like, okay. First things first, prom date, he was a friend. He was a really good friend, and then he was just really, like, into the whole, like, you know, he's going to ask you out, um, going to do, like, a proposal. Came on too strong. Yeah, but, like, as a friend, like, yeah. you know, he was like, I have to do this because, like, I want, I want things cool, and, like, I'm really into this. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he was, like, kind of more into it than I was. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so then, yeah, so then he was, and then, like, he had, like, a room prepared, like, and a whole bunch of his friends were going to be there. And then they were going to, they were going to have alcohol there, yeah. whatever, get fucked. And then, literally, like, in the middle of, like, our dinner at prom, he was like, um, so, uh, TK, uh, you know, I was, like, talking to one of the popular girls, or one of the more, like, higher-ranked girls, or whatever oh you want to say. And then he was like, yeah, and they said that you can't come to our room. You're not going to be drinking with us. I was like, what? excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? And then he, like, legitimately just was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what to do. And, like, <laughs> and I was like, you let me in that room, because... Where the fuck am I gonna go for the rest of the night? Yeah. Whoa, that's but, yeah, so no, he shitty. legitimately like just left it at that. And oh then he like God. didn't like look at me after that. He like didn't wanna like interact with me. And that was just in the middle of dinner. Oh fuck. <laughs> so at least like three to four more hours until prom ended. Yeah. And then after prom. Oh, so that I... I was just so mad. <laughs> Holy shit, I would I like walked away punched him as well Holy yeah so pretty much i like walked away from him 
found any, pretty much any of the girls around, all of the girls, I just told them what the fuck just happened, and I'm like, you have a hotel around here, right? you, you guys are gonna stay, can I just, like, stay with you guys? Yeah. And they're all just like, oh my god, like, you know, the whole, like, drunk girl thing, where they're like, oh my god, one of us is, like, injured, we can't, <laughs> we can't just let her go. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, they're all super nice, That's and then they, good. like, all wanted to, like, rip his face off, well, and I was like, yeah. I almost slapped him. <laughs> I, I, I'm I surprised oh you didn't. I... <laughs> I was yeah, like... I was so mad. Oh, shit. Even, even Bearded's like, I don't know what to do. Don't be a dick. That's what you do. That's right, Bearded. You, you're right. That guy was a total fucking dick. Yeah. Also, and I, I was just so, like, like, why would you do that? And you would just legit let a girl... Yeah, like, well, especially one that you're like the, friends with too, right? Like that's just, yeah. That's and I was, just... I was just like completely shocked. Yeah, oh, but like so pretty much. Well, he was just on the plus side. As an adult, you could probably key his car. I don't condone keying cars. Oh, I'm just saying it's an option. <laughs> but, no, but like the funniest thing was that like somehow his mom found out. Oh. <laughs> and, like, because I'm pretty sure it's because his mom paid for the hotel room, right? Yeah, yeah. Like when he when she went to go pick them up, she was like, "Where's Tiffany?" Yeah. <laughs> and then um, he, he probably told her, and then well, I've got a story like, that involves me being a giant, me being a giant prick. So uh, buckle yeah. up, mom. I'm gonna be yeah, super then, like, disappointed. I don't know. Like a couple days later, she like came up to me and she apologized for him. Oh. Wow. And I was like, "Excuse me." Like, you're not supposed to be apologizing for him. He should. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, literally, like, a couple days later, he, like, finally got the nerve mm -hmm. to, like, see, like, come face to face to me. Because I'm pretty sure he thought I, <laughs> 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 from, like, the way he was talking to me, he was way too nervous. Oh, God. Uh, but, yeah. That's. Yeah. But he apologized, and I just haven't talked to him since. That, that's fair yeah that's that's kind of like a yeah. friendship ruiner for sure yeah oh that sucks i i was, I was like god damn oh, i should have just went by myself yeah <laughs> or like do the do the like prom with friends thing like a group prom yeah Those are... i was going to do that with like one of my girlfriends but mm -hmm. then like she couldn't get tickets oh I was just like, oh, fine, and then, and then like I was talking to him, and he was date, but like I don't have anyone to ask. Yeah. I was just like, okay, well we're friends, we can go together, and he was just like, well, guess what? I'm gonna do a proposal, and I'm like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about no though? <laughs> how about yeah, but he, <laughs> let's do yeah, but he still that. did it, and I was just like, uh yeah, no, I was good. like, shook. Uh... I was so shook. <laughs> Yeah, that, that super sucks. Oh my god. Um, I don't know, my prom was a while ago, but I remember it going pretty okay. Like, we did, the, we did the thing where it was like a few of us, and it was like a friend of mine since we were like in elementary school. So we were just kind of like, you know, high five, we're just friends, it's all cool. Um, and yeah, we just rented like stretch limo type thing, one of the friends brothers drove us around ended up meeting with a bunch of other kids from the school one of them busted out nose candy and we're like nope we're out we're done we draw the line at amphetamines um and then i passed out on my couch and there's actually Aww. still a picture kicking around somewhere of me in my like, prom tux thing just on the couch on the couch passed out my prom date just looking at the camera <laughs> Oh no! It's a good picture. It's it's a fun picture. Um, yeah. yeah. My prom was super tame. It was it was super soft, super vanilla. Um, yeah. I was also like fucking seventeen. I didn't know what was going on. That's just how you do when you're a Tony. Um, yeah. Anyway, holy shit! You've been streaming for an hour and a half, like almost on the nose. Woo! So that's rad. Tiffany, thank you so much for joining. That was a lot of fun. Congratulations on winning your own heck boy to, to yeah. love and get shot by. Um, and I, I totally performance anxiety myself with the fish gal. 
Uh, but hey, there's plenty of fish in the you know, yeah. uh, Um Also, thank you so much to everyone for watching. Um, Bearded, Sam, Jake, Quick. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching as well. Uh, Logan will be back next week. Uh, he's in New York right now for five points. So this, uh, I don't know if my computer will handle doing streaming. I don't know if I'll be able to handle doing streaming. But thank you so much, so much, so much again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a good night. And Tiffany, congratulations again. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna turn the stream off now. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>